Ah, okay. Um, good afternoon. It's just some few minutes, I believe, just some few minutes after Manchester United managed to get a 4-0 win over their bitterest rivals, that's Liverpool, in a friendly match in um, Bangkok, Thailand. And um, what a what a day it's been. Or oh, what an afternoon. If you happen to be here in Ghana, it's an afternoon. Also in the UK, I believe it's an afternoon. But wherever you are in the world, wherever you are, if you're a Manchester United fan, there's something to cheer about. There's something to celebrate. Uh, just some few months ago, uh, we were at Anfield and it was humiliation. Four goals to zero against Manchester United. One of the worst, worst, worst performances, you know, they can or they could ever put up for you to see as a Manchester United fan. But today, uh, the first ever game and that's an hack and it was a win for Manchester United. You know, yes, you can talk about the fact that yes, it's a friendly game and you know, there's no cause, you know, for you to just get you know, ahead of yourself or whatever it is, but it's still good news because if you're a United fan and you manage to watch that game, then there are lots and lots of positives for you to take from that game. We could individually talk about these players, Bai, what a performance he had, Jaden Sancho, he was just superb on the day, you know, the youngsters, Amand Diallo, Pelistri, you know, combining for a goal, and you know, what a game that was. So like I said, if you're a United fan, you know, there could be lots of notes you could be taking from this, positive notes to be precise, because that was a very, very good win, and that was emphatic from Manchester United, an emphatic win for us, and you know, it, it's, what a way to sign off the Ten Hag era. The, the, the Eric Ten Hag era, you know, to start off with a win, not just against any other team, but Liverpool. It's, it's quite good news, you know, and, you know, that's why we're doing this. Because, you know, it's something that, you know, ah, this, this wreaks lots and lots of joy as a United fan. You know, we started the season or off-season and just one signing so far has been con confirmed. And that happens to be Tyrell Malasia. You know, and going into this game, some people were asking, um, how is it going to be? Because we know how strong Liverpool are. You know, they've signed about three players. Carvalho from Fulham, they've signed... Um, the child from Benfica, that's Darwin Nunes. They've also added, you know, a couple of players to their team already. But Manchester United, you know, we haven't really been busy, you know, this off-season. During this transfer window, we haven't really been busy. So you look at that game, going into the game, and, you know, yes, United fans were not that optimistic because they knew it was just a friendly game. And that was what was on the lips of every United fan. It was just a friendly. But after the win, you could see everyone, you know, is in that mood. Everyone, I believe, is happy, especially if you're a United fan. You know, but let's talk about the goals. Jaden Sancho, what a goal he scored, made it that look so easy. There was Fred also on the score sheet. Marshall, you know, he, he showed, you know, some some confidence in front of goal, you know, and also the young chap. Now talk about Eric Bailly, you know, that attack he initiated, you know, that ended in a goal. You know, we can talk about United having world-class players, you know, that is not even up for debate. But the question we've been asking, you know, over the years, or the last few years has been, that who is the man to lead this United team? Is Eric Ten Hag the man to lead his United team? I know some of you be out there, you know, watching this, asking, no, it's too early, it's too early, no, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But we are asking, you know, per what you saw, if you haven't really, or if you didn't get the chance to watch the game, the full 90, you could go and watch the highlights. You could see how direct Manchester United were against um, Liverpool in that game. Yes, you can talk about the fact that, you know, Liverpool filled it there, you know, it wasn't a strong side. But I believe that was very, very important, especially the way we approached the game, because that was just the way we wanted to see things change. You know, uh, before the season ended, our performances, you know, were nothing to write home about. You know, there were always question marks, you know, but the point is, you look at what Ten Hag is trying to build at Manchester United. Do you think that we should allow most of the players to leave, or you think he should maintain the squad? Looking at how they performed against Liverpool, do you think he needs to maintain the squad, or you think that he should, uh, okay, I have some people who want to be, um, yeah, we have Ahmad, Ahmad, Eric, um, let me see if I can send him a request so he can join us. Uh, we have Ian and also um, Hakim, Hakim is also watching, Hakim, so we would see, I will take your thoughts about the game, yeah, uh, the game. Uh, that we played just uh, this afternoon. I'm sure Hakim will join us pretty shortly, but we're still talking about that game against Liverpool all the way in Thailand. We saw the reception our team, you know, received. And um, who is there? 
I think Hakim had they collapsed. Is that Hakim? Good afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon. Oh, we just lost Hakim, but I'm sure Hakim will join us very soon. So we're still talking about the game. And to be precise, we are talking about that performance, you know, from the boys. That performance from the boys. How do you sum up that performance? You know, you can send in your comments or even if, um, yeah, you can't, you can't also, I can bring you live on so that we can take your thoughts because I believe you're, you're quite happy. You are feeling, you know, ecstatic about this win. You know, we, it, it's been a while we beat Liverpool. Even, you know, regardless of, you know, where or which tournament we, we were playing, you know, there's a friendly, I understand, yeah, it's a friendly, but it was important we got this win. Because I, I think this, you know, um, is something, this win is really going to boost the confidence of these boys. You know, and um, most of you want to um, join, yes, I'm sending, so you can just send your request and, you know, you can just join so that we can take your thoughts. Mm -hmm. you, we can, uh, you can share your thoughts with us. Uh, Still okay, so this is the reunited live channel, and uh, who do we have here? Okay, so oh, unfortunately, we've lost uh, that person, but uh, okay, so yes, I uh, we have okay, a very chi chi name Meren Emmanuel. I believe I mentioned that right, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's a friend from Nigeria. So, speaking about uh, you know, how we do the game, you could see that it went in very direct. Okay, so who do we have here? Very Chine Merem Emmanuel. I hope I got her right. I hope that was right. Yeah, absolutely. Emmanuel Mansay from CIG. All right, all right. So nice, so nice. You enjoyed it. Uh, good afternoon. I believe that you're in Nigeria. <laughs> afternoon, it's still afternoon in Nigeria. Okay, okay. No problem. I'm getting you loud and clear. Uh okay, okay. So let's let's talk. It's, it's light out here, so I'm really struggling, you know. We are having a little bit of, you know, power issues. So you can see me sweating. It's because I'm in a very, you know, confined space and it's really hot in here. But we still have to talk sure, about sure. Manchester United, regardless what the conditions are. So what do you make? What do you make of today's game? Well, actually, to sum up everything about today's game, really the intensity was very high. The pressing, you can see. Team is playing much needed football. Team is playing 100 percent. If they can take this to the next season or this coming season, we will see a lot better. That's 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 good. But what, what were your positives? Who do you think was you know was a standout player uh, in the game? Because we have Fred scoring, we have Sancho scoring, Marshall also scored, and Felistri also scored after a man, <clears throat> you know, assisted him. So who, who was your you know what was your star performer on the day? Well, for me today, I will pick two, two individuals to be a star performer for me. Okay. One will be Jaden Sancho. Okay. Jaden Sancho, um, Sancho. He, right. he, has improved, he has improved so much in his confidence, even to hold the ball, to dictate the pace of the game, to take defenders one-on-one. -on -one. He, really, he, really do, he, he really does that very, very well today. And... To a Bailey coming in, the likes of a Bailey playing against Darwin Nunes, very composed, doing lots of stuff passing. Yeah. Really, it was it was so I was so impressed with Ayi Bailey. I was very very much impressed. So these are the two every, performances. Every single United fan, yeah, every United uh, every United fan is I believe is impressed with Eric Bailey. You know, one thing that we've, we've just haven't been happy with regards to Bay has been the fact that he just can't stay fit. And that's the reason why we haven't seen the best of Bay. But what do you make of that attack he initiated, that counter attack with that leg over, you know, pushing the ball forward, you know, and passing the ball to Aman? What, what do you make of that? <laughs> that, that is one of a uh, Bailey's good mark. That is one of them. <laughs> I, lo I love doing that. More, moreover, when he sees a space <laughs> to hit in, he can't just let that space run out. So he needs to make use of that run. I really love doing that. That was absolutely good yeah. about him. Exactly. Nice, yeah. really nice, really, really nice. Okay. That's okay. the problem. Well, I want before, to before, pump before, before the you, pass. Before you take leave of us, before you take leave of us, where do you think we need to strengthen as a team? Where do you think we need to strengthen as a team? Because now you can see that we brought in a left back, I believe. Uh, that uh, Ericsson Hag is still in the market, you know, trying to get other players on board. Uh, we have Nana Pokunet, let's see if we can 
uh, add him to this conversation. Okay, but where do you think we need to strengthen as a team? Well, uh, in the back four, for me, the right back position needs to be strengthened. We can't only and solely rely on Dalo or on Wambisaka. They made a lot of silly, silly mistakes. Even the, the inclusion of Wambisaka was not that of interest. It doesn't make any, any changes at all. Owing to the fact that he, has, he had a bad season, but he needs to up his game. So the right back position needs to be strengthened. And the attack, the attack, though we are pressing with high intensity, we have a lot of sharp strikers, but we need a number nine, precisely number nine, we need that one. And the midfield, we don't need an old midfielder. Old midfielder, we, who can be a box to box, outside box to box, because, because we have lots of, um, 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 in, in our in players that are very good on the ball. So we need box to box midfielders. So we need a right back, an attacker, and an only midfielder. Okay. Okay. I believe I believe Ten Hag will be listening to you now and you know he's definitely going to put all these things you know we need to you know use because United, you know, we know how they has really fallen off the pecking order in England and I believe there's a time or he is the man to take us back. To, you know, to our glory days, you know, and and it's, it's we just can't wait to see exactly, that happen. Yeah, the last season was, was 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 just poor. It was shambolic. You know, humiliation yeah. upon humiliation, losing to Brighton 4-0, losing to Liverpool 9-0 on aggregate. You know, we just couldn't turn up against the likes of even us. Now it was it was just shambolic. But we believe that this season we'll see you know, the best Ball. 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 Manchester United. Thanks so much for joining. Uh, this live show, um, Emmanuel, we are hoping that, you know, in that subsequent, you know, uh, live shows, we'll have you so that you can share your thoughts with us. Thanks so much. Thanks. Um, thank you so much. All right. So, Biesfield, and let's see if we can get him on to take his uh, thoughts on the game. It's still very hot over here. Pardon me. You can see me sweating. Uh, but, okay. So, uh, that's where we draw the curtains. There was United 4, Liverpool 0 in that friendly game all the way in Bangkok. And, you know, we, we are just, you know, everyone. As, as, as the feeling is euphoric, it's, it's, everyone is elated. Because uh, this was the first game, you know, under Ten Hag. And he managed to deliver something. You know, even if it's, if it's Liverpool and it's even, you know, the under 2s, under 10s, it still means a lot to us. Because Liverpool... Uh, bitches rivals and this week is something that we are hoping that the team will build upon thanks so much for making time with me let me see i hope now poku hits what is here he sent a comment and he said eric Bai was world class no one is denying that you know i had a friend i had, I had a friend a liverpool friend you know to be precise who says that you know he looks at Bai every time and he feels he's too skillful for the position he plays i don't know if you disagree because there's a defender who loves to you know do the leg overs, you know, take on defender uh, attackers, you know, and he's quite a joy to watch. Eric Bay is quite a joy to watch. And, you know, just like my prayer has always been, he needs to stay fit for, you know, uh, this season, this upcoming season, because it's a very, very important season for us. Thanks so much for making time with me. My name is Joseph Okupe, and this is the Reunited Live channel on Facebook. You can also log on to YouTube, Reunited underscore live, and also pick or uh, watch some of the videos we dropped over there. But for now, just take care. Bye-bye.